Hello, welcome back to Gas Beauty Team with Top Football for match seven of the Bristol Ball, which today is between Mangotsfield United and the Nags Head. So we've got 10 minutes on the clock and we're going to crack on and get this match done. There we have it. Mangotsfield got the kickoff today as they trundle up the pitch. They have struggled a little bit, these uh, heavyweight Mangusfield team. They haven't quite got the form or the pluck of uh, the old raggedy Mangusfield. So that went out. Uh, so that's a goal kick for Mangusfield. Tap forward to their defender. He passes it across the midfield. Nice little roll on the ball. This defender's uh, has a little power shot, ran up, ran up the pitch there. Defender taking the striking position. But it did go out for a Nags head goal kick. Now they're having to think about what they're going to do. They pass that black ball forward. Both these uh, figures, teams are uh, bucket based figures. Nice slide towards the ball, didn't quite reach it now. Mangotsfield needs to be a bit careful, they overpower that and trip over, which is a bit of a dangerous uh, situation. That was a bit of a miss flick, which means Mangotsfield rescued, but they did give possession away then. There was another little miss flick there, there's a few of them. Pass forward. Do the Nags head have anyone to get there? I don't think they do. It's going to be a tricky slide in from there. Ooh, that was a bit of a foul. So we're going to take a free kick for, right in front of the referee as well. Free kick for uh, Mangotsfield from there. Um, both teams are going to move some players about though. So Nags head are going to keep a couple down in that Mangotsfield half. Whereas Mangotsfield are going to move a few lads down there now. Let me squeeze past. That does mean, of course, a little bit of stoppage time has been added. Bit of a wasted uh, free kick that by Mangotsfield. So, Nags Ed. Not quite what they were looking for, but they do keep possession of that ball. Oh, although they better be careful with that as they pump the ball out for a throw in by Mangotsfield. Now they're gonna move, uh, that fella just, he trips over a little bit and this fella's gonna go just a touch over there. Nags head gonna send some defenders into the various boxes. Now let's see what Mangotsfield can do with this. Nice convincing throw in. Did, <laughs> didn't at all touch that ball, which means uh, Nags Head now have the opportunity for a steal. They take that, although they missed that one. A lot of missing going on right now. Again, missed. Some of these players haven't been training all week. They've been busy doing other things. Nags head now. Touch on. Gave away possession to Mangusfield. Are they going to run back for that ball? They're certainly going to have a go. Fencing being destroyed here. Hang on. I'm going to pause you. There's all sorts of chaos going on. Right, we're back. Pick up a few bits and pieces that fell onto the floor. Now, Mangusfield, he's still got another, he's run out of flicks now, unfortunately. Uh, very unfortunate. Can we get a Mangusfield player over there? No. Oh dear. So, Nags have now missed that. Giving possession back to Mangusfield, who are working themselves into a, an attacking position that's a nice little ball. He's not going to go for the... Is he going to go for the shot? Keeper's going to come across there. It's going to be difficult. Bit of an angled slice. Tax his own player. That does give 
Oh dear. Nags had an opportunity to defend it. Oh, that's gone out for a corner to Mangotsfield. Now, what Mags Ed want to do is get a lot of their players back down into defensive positions. And Mangotsfield just want to, that was a bit of a double touch, but we'll let them get away with that. Just want to spread themselves across a bit. So if they can get the ball over into that central position, overshot slightly. Have they got a man that can get down there. If you can just get behind that. He did touch it with his feet and again and again, but also run out of flicks. Someone else has to tap that ball into him. Couldn't quite make it. So now, oh, what a great uh, tackle there by Nags Ed. Ball straight through. Manga Seal did better be careful here because, uh, you know what, he's going to pass, he's in the way, so he's going to pass that back, gives it away. Now Manga Sealed. Can they keep possession of this ball? It's dangerously close to their goal. Oh, so that goes for a corner. One of them yellow footballs escape there. Um, so Mangotsfield want to move in back there, move in back there, keep her across there. And Nags Head are going to, you know what? They're going to get some people actually back in defence in case there's a break on the ball. Because they have got corners to be taken in out. And is this going to go? He's going to try and get that into that centre area. That's good by Nags Ed. If you just sort of slide behind that ball gently, he can do. Keepers across. Is this going to be a shot for them? Oh, and what a brilliant little goal by the Nags Head. That goes right into the back of Mangotsfield's net. Uh, which mean we set up again. Right, so, you know what? I'm going to start pausing when I set up. Right, so we're back there, set up. Obviously, a bit of stoppage time I did. I think we've got about three minutes of stoppage time already in this half. Mangotsfield, across the line there. Could be their chance. They're going to take a, a shot from here. Oh, goes right out. I think it actually came off a Nags head player. Uh, so that is going to be a throw-in for Mangotsfield. A um, couple of these guys go back into defence. That guy's going to go move slightly forward. He's going to have to weave that ball in between all those nags head people. Hope it doesn't hit any of them, which it didn't, which means it is now Mangotsfield. Ball head to the ball, excellent. Didn't quite get to it though, so... A little bit of a battle here now. Nags head. Excellent ball by them. We haven't even put the score on from the previous goal. But you know what? They're going to move the trophy out of the way. They smell the taste of blood. Oh, nice little deflection. It was almost an own goal there. I'll remember it. Let's put our other thing in. So Nags head are 1-0. So that came off the keeper. So it is now... A corner by uh, for Nags Head in the Mangusfield half. Mangusfield going to move a little bit back. Uh, this guy's going to come forward. He's going to go forward, and this guy's going to take the corner. Right, we're starting to run out of time here. We're going to get a whistle in a minute. So he kicks that out. It doesn't really go anywhere. Glance off a Mangusfield player. And what we're going to say is there's definitely three minutes of stoppage time at the end of this half. It's quite a lot, but there's a lot of faff in the bank. So Mangotsfield, that did come off him, so it's now a Mangotsfield ball. Now, Mangotsfield furiously kicking that ball out. As it comes in for a Nags head throw in. Right. Hang on, Mangotsfield going to get back on the pitch there. And there you've got, this guy's going to move into a sort of attacking position. 
long throw in, but goes straight to the feet of uh, Mangotsfield. Ooh, missed. A lot of missing. Nice little pass. This guy, forward. That's brilliant by Mangotsfield. Pass, but given away. Could have been put into a nice little position there. This guy is trying to tackle that ball round. Slid away. Ooh, Mangasfield all over the place today. Don't know what's the matter with them. What a brilliant pass across the pitch there. But that does go out. So that is now a throw in to Mangasfield. Mangasfield going to get a few players back. As are uh, what we called Nags Head. He needs to go on the pitch. Uh, and they're going to spread out a bit. So this guy wants to try and throw this ball. Up there, trundles into that little collection of players. Can they do anything with that, though? So basically, what they've got to do is get behind it. And he did sort of develop that a little bit. So now he's got one more flick. And we've uh, hardly any time in the uh, first half. Ooh, and that goes right in. So that now is, let's see what there is. There was one minute, 10 left to play. So we're gonna have to set up again. But the score is now a nice round one all. Both teams having scored. So can we pause that a minute? Let's clear that. One. And we'll put 10 on there. That's what the time was when it scored. So that's ready to go. Now, let's set this up. So where are we on? All over the place. So now, old uh, Nags Head going for a tight Caspugio triangle. Well, it's a bit of a weird one. I know they're going for the wider version, I think. That's what they've been playing so far. We'll go over there. Mangotsfield, who have just scored, obviously they'll have the defensive position. So these guys are gonna go there. They want to defend with their lives. Now they've come back into the game. I'm missing one. Where is he? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, lads, you haven't got a lot of time. You've got to get in here and get sorted. Otherwise, the match will continue without you. Put the trophy back into place. Is he in the back of the net? No. Referee's going to say, time will carry on. Anyone see the other player? Is he over here somewhere? Is he in the stands? He's over here, hidden away. Really, uh... Need a meal of getting out of the way there when he scored that goal, right? So now, Nags Head, we've got one minute and 10 seconds of the first half left. Pass across, ref out of the way. Missed, Magnusfield now on the attack. Comes on off the referee. Slide up, doesn't quite get to the ball. Stumbling, they're having a few problems with this stumbling at Magnusfield. Oh, excellent uh, ball by the Nags head. Ooh, comes off the midfielder for Mangotsfield. So possession was given away, but they've now lost possession. Keeper's going to have to get behind that. Old uh, Nags head, they don't want to power through there too much. Ooh, because that was going to happen. Which means I think both teams have got to uh, have their warning now. 18 seconds left to play. Man gets to do anything. Put the ball right up the pitch. And stumbled again. Seems to be their MO in this match. Kicked out for a throw in. Turn that timer off. Then moving a few players back. Man gets field. Move a couple of players forward. Literally a throw in and then perhaps one flick. Referee's got his whistle in his mouth. He's looking at his watch. Could this be a chance for Mangasil to go ahead? No. Saved. <whistles> Ball's still in play. So referee.
calls for half time, where it is 1 1 between Manchester United and Mag's Head. Tune back in for the second half just about now. 10 minutes on the clock and we're off. Mag's Head to break this time. No messing about. They're going to go for a shot, but they stumbled over. Gave possession away to Mangersfield, who have gone for a wide Gaspugio triangle, but didn't quite reach that ball. So you need to look at them polishing their boots a little bit. Oh, excellent reach for the ball from Nags Head, but it did just kick it out. And so the Mangersfield goalkeeper gets control of the ball. Excellent little pass forward by him. Touch. Touch again. Touch again, but he's run out of flicks. This guy's going to have to try and run forward. Mag's head missed it. I don't know what happened there. I don't think he actually touched the ball, but possession was given away anyway. This striker determined to develop this ball down here. Fortunately, no, no one else can get there now. This guy's going to have to stumble forward. Bit of defensive work needed. Possession given away. Goalkeeper across. Goes for a flick. Unfortunately, went right across the goal. And I think it went out on that side of the corner flag. So the keeper from Nags Head. Luckily, he gets a goal kick. Nice little pass between those two defenders who then further develop that football ball into midfield. Pass forward. Still in play. But can they do anything with it? No. So he's going to run on. Putting himself in that position there because he knows what's going to happen here. Oh, Mangasfield again. Not getting to the ball. Nags Head, pass forward, possession given away. Oh, he better be careful here. He's going to score an own goal when he's defending. He boots that away to safety, but it does mean a throw-in. Now he can get out of there. And I think Mangasfield are going to send another man down there. There's going to be a throw-in. It's going to be this guy will take it. Nags Head have got a nice... I don't think they're going to change anything, really. This guy might move across a little bit. Ooh, that's gone deep into the middle. Keeper's going to have to block that. That is striking range. Oh, what a power shot save. Absolute power shot save by the keeper. Stays in play, which means it must be Mangotsfield's ball. But they don't quite get to it. This guy stands up. Keeper's coming out. This keeper's doing his uh, doing his job, and it another save when it come off the keeper and it went in. So that's an own goal off the keeper, really. Uh, bit of a disaster there. So that now is Nags Head two uh, and Mangotsfield. Fortunate little slip down the keeper's hand, and uh, just trundled backwards. Some awesome uh, goalkeeping by their keeper. Unfortunately, uh, didn't quite work out for him there. That just lost control of the ball. They should have had some defenders down there helping him out. Uh, and it means we set back up. So, here we go. I did say I was going to uh, <laughs> pause this while I was setting up, but might as well keep it going. And just add stoppage time at the end. So Mangersfield are going to have the ball. They're going to go for slightly attacking, bringing their players forward. They got a couple of defenders, a few defenders staying down there. And uh, old Mag's head going for the Gas Beauty Triangle Classic. Classic being matching the corners of the things, although they are missing a player. Where's he gone? Oh, he's there. Get out. It's not your ball. You just scored. So. Mangasfield. Oh, that was way overpowered. Just complete. They're, they're losing their heads here, I think. It's not often we see Mangasfield under the uh, under the cosh, 
but they seem to be struggling at the minute. Another overpowered shot. So, one for one there. Now, Mangasfield, they're going to move a couple of players forward, whereas Mag Z, slightly breaking formation, he's going to move. What is he doing? And then we're going to take this guy for the throw in. So, he's going to try and get the ball. Oh, oh that was just weak by Mangasfield. Excellent ball through, though. That was brilliantly done by then. Can they actually get to it, though? There's so many uh, Mag Zs. Oh! <laughs> Now that is two infractions, one warning and one uh, yellow card. So that means now we have, if Mangasfield will commit one more um, offence like that, they're going to lose a man. Now you, get back in defence or somewhere down in your own half. And to be fair, they probably want to send another man back. They've got two over there. So let's get at least one of them back in play, this guy. Where's he going to end up there? Not such a bad position, right? So, a little free kick. The nice head, given away though. Mangotsfield. Tap, tap. So, another tap, but no more flicks. This guy's going to come in. Didn't reach that ball at all. Is this going to be a steal for? No, it's not. Tap forward. Keeper's getting worried now. Mangotsfield. Ooh, shot went wide. So it's a goal kick. Three minutes, 20 plus. Probably a couple of minutes of stoppage time so far. Nice ball forward. Ooh, giving away though. Now that is dangerous. You do not want to do that in front of Mangotsfield. Because what I can do now, oh, look at that. That is why you do not give the ball to Mangotsfield. So they come right back, drove that ball into the back of the nice head's net. They're bringing it back now to 2-2. Two, two. They keep coming back. All their faults and uh, falling over and whatnot. They keep coming back into it, so. More exciting game than I expected. Let's move them up there. So we're probably looking at, again, a three minute uh, stoppage time. Mangotsfield getting into the game now, going for this Y Gaspugio triangle. Are they going to be happy with two points? Some, something tells me they, they wouldn't be happy with just, uh, sorry, with uh, one point, uh, two all. But nonetheless, let's see what the Mags head are going to do now. They're going for a little bit of crescent with less defenders. I mean, it's always a gamble that. Uh, are we missing one? One, two, three, four. No, we're all there. Good. So, Nice head now. Pass the cross. Can he get to that ball? He can. And it's still their possession. A little bit of a tap. We're not counting that, but that did go to Bangersfield. They're doing some awful defending. Heads the ball then. Has he got one more flick? Missed it anyway, which means it is now. Although it's very well guarded, it is now Nags Head's possession. I'm not sure how they're going to get to that. And he's slide. Oh, that has got to be their yellow now. Which means from just there, Mangotsfield can take a free kick, trundle the ball forward. They get, you know what? Oh. Excellent defending through his body in front of the ball. Uh, but that does mean then that that's a corner because it came off him corner for Mangotsfield all the way down here. Let's move the England flag out of the way. So Nags Head slide a couple of men forward. He's going to stay there and they're going <laughs> to... Come on. That wasn't in play. So. 
Ball forward. Hasn't touched any of the Nags head players, which means it is still Mangus Field. Although they didn't get to that there. Now, just a few seconds left, then we're into stoppage time. Still Nags heads ball. Oh, that's an excellent uh, touch by them. So what did we say? Three minutes, isn't it, again? Three minutes on the clock, counting down. He's had one touch on the ball, this chap, I think, isn't he? So there's another one, pass to his mate. His mate really wants to touch that and get out of the way. Excellent sort of supply of the ball back. Ooh, just wide, just wide of that post there. So without any messing about, Mangotsfield keeper now is feeding that ball out. Nice little touch by then, this guy. Pass forward, end-to-end -end stuff now. So get around the camera. So, here we go. Nags head, give it away to Mangus Yield. We know what's gonna happen here. They will not mess about with that. He's gonna do a little touch there. Ooh, did that come off the keeper? I think it just came off the keeper's foot, which means it's a Magnetsfield um, corner. Now, he's got a guy here, he's gonna come on. This guy's gonna take the corner. Magnetsfield are gonna spread themselves out and another um, Nag Z player's gonna get back in, get a kicking keeper off, or forgot left. A minute and a half left. All happening here at Caspugo Stadium. Ball. Oh, didn't quite get to it. That could have been dangerous for Nags Head. Luckily, we're able to get that ball out. They're going to keep all their defenders down there. And that was a wise choice because that ball has gone into an excellent position for them. Ooh, just wide. Although, I think that would have been a bit of a push to... Uh, Get that out, so Mangotsfield, get that in, sorry. Mangotsfield, lovely little pass there. This guy's gonna run up, excellent position, didn't touch the ball. Now we've got, um, this guy's gonna try and pass that across. No, it's Mangotsfield again. Tap across, he's had one touch. Missed out this time, 41 seconds to play. Excellent pass by Nags Head, move out the way. Pass forward. Give it a Mangus field. 30 seconds to play, everything to play four. Well, that was overpowered and goes out. Little goal kick. Keepers looking around who he can pass this to. That's a perhaps not the greatest decision there. A lot of players congregate around here. 10 seconds to play. Whose ball is it? I think it's Mangus field, isn't it? Is it? So he comes and steams in. We've run out of time here at Gas Beauty Stadium. So there's going to be a goal kick and then he gets out of the way. This guy's coming up. Ref's got his whistle in his mouth. Oh, and it just goes in. It just goes in for the back head. Shocking. <laughs> that is... Nag Zed, well after uh, time, we were, referee literally had his whistle in his mouth, ready to go. So we're going to set up, the ref's going to allow Maggot Seal to set up, but literally not much they can do. So uh, Nag Zed are going to go for a very, very, you know what, they're going to stick to that triangle actually, whereas Maggot's Field it's sticking four men in this box. Whether that's allowed in the rules or not, who knows. But they've now got nothing to lose. Literally a breath away from the final whistle going. Referee saying, you know, you've got one touch, one flick. Make it count, lads. Uh, right, so everyone's everywhere. They're keeping that wide, so Nags Head are keeping that wide, so it's difficult for a Mangot Seal to get the ball anywhere because they're sort of blocking everything. We got four, five there. 
no point in them having anyone in defence. Where's their other player? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. They got one player somewhere else. Uh, do, 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 do. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Really, no point in putting anyone in defence. So he's going to go here just in case there's a shot. So ref says, passed up. He runs the ball, but it goes out. <laughs> and there we have it. Uh, more of a dramatic game on this uh, Monday evening fixture uh, than I realised. Uh, and we ended up with uh, Mangotsfield 2, Nags Head 3. Uh, off the top of my head, I don't know what that's going to do to the table. Uh, I haven't looked at it for a while. Uh, but we will top that up and see you very soon for uh, match 8 of the Bristol Ball. But until then, out the gas.